In the midst of an ordinary morning, as sunlight gently peeked through the blinds, Mark found himself immersed in the habitual ritual of scrolling through his social media feed, amidst the ceaseless flow of memes and news updates, a video seized his attention, freezing his scrolling thumb mid-air, the video showcased a small dog navigating the world with only two legs, its fur a mosaic of brown and white. Its eyes ablaze with determination, Mark felt compassion well up inside of him as he observed the strong dog and imagined the struggles the dog endured on a regular basis, his voice was hardly audible in the silent room when he asked out loud how did it lose its other two legs who is caring for it, though Mark felt sorrow for the dog's situation, he was motivated by its unyielding energy, if this little guy can persevere with such determination, he thought to himself, then surely I can tackle whatever challenges come my way, he decided right once to get in touch with the netizen, who posted the video in the hopes of finding out more about the amazing dog's journey and whereabouts, with only a rough idea of where he was going and a lot of hope, Mark set off on a journey that felt both important and intimidating, surprisingly, the search turned out to be more difficult than expected, the dog was nowhere to be found in the entire area. He was driven by a deep-seated desire to find the puppy and provide it a better life, even if frustration was eating away at him and threatening to weaken his resolve just before Mark was about to give up, he noticed a flicker of movement, he stepped forward warily, not daring to hope for too much, and his heart raced, the dog he had been looking for was there, curled up in a peaceful nook, but his first delight changed to melancholy as Mark approached, the real state of the dog was significantly worse than he had thought. Its eyes radiated a tiredness that pulled at Mark's heart, and its fur was matted and filthy, the dog flinched back when he held out his hand in a reassuring gesture. Dread showing in its quivering body and cautious eyes, seeing the extent of the dog's pain and the trauma it must have experienced, Mark's heart broke, he muttered, it's okay, little one, in a calm and soothing tone, I'm not here to hurt you, I just want to help, the dog's eyes held a gleam of trust and optimism that, in spite of the terror, touched Mark's heart, in the middle of anxiety and uncertainty. Mark's words were a comforting salve as he spoke quietly, determined to offer support and assistance, he assured her, you're safe now, in a kind and kind voice, I'll take care of you, I promise, when Mark announced that he was going to adopt the dog, the neighborhood responded with a mixture of relief and appreciation, even though they had periodically fed the dog, they were intimidated by the thought of taking care of it in the long run, though he was aware of their worries, Mark was adamant about his choice, he said, this dog deserves a loving home, with sincerity in his voice and I'm willing to provide that, some neighbors, though, were compelled to express their concerns, a worried old woman across the street called Mrs. Johnson, but Mark, how can you be sure the dog will live long, and what if it's suffering from some serious disease, you may be taking on more than you can handle, Mark heard them clearly and sympathized with their fear, but he couldn't help but notice the glimmer of hope in the dog's eyes, he said, I can't promise everything will be easy, but I believe this dog deserves a chance, just like any of us, next door resident and retired veterinarian Mr. Wilson interrupted, his worried expression visible on his scowl, Mark, I've seen many cases like this in my years of practice, two-legged dogs often face a myriad of health issues, are you prepared for that, Mark gave a contemplative nod, with unyielding resolve, he declared. I'll do whatever it takes to ensure this dog gets the best care, Mark felt the dog's body stiffen with uncertainty as he gently carried it into his arms. But he felt the strain release as he caressed its fur and spoke in hushed tones, neighbors witnessed the heartwarming moment play out, tears shining in their eyes, even Mr. Wilson, who was normally stoic, had to wipe away a stray tear from his cheek, the dog's unexpected readiness to be picked up, together with their reluctant agreement, completed the fresh beginning, the dog was quivering, and as Mark held it in his arms, he could feel its want for a home, a longing that paralleled his own in unexpected ways, while the puppy cuddled up against Mark's chest, the burden of responsibility descended upon him, he experienced a wave of thankfulness and hope despite the difficulties that lied ahead, for him and the dog, this marked the beginning of a unique journey filled with companionship and healing, as they stepped through the door into their future together, Mark couldn't help but feel a deep feeling of happiness and purpose. Mark believed it was only natural to call the dog Cookie. 
Because of its newly discovered sweetness and the joy it brought into his life their first beach excursion served as evidence of their growing relationship, it was a time of pure joy to see Cookie, full of energy and desire, exploring the dunes and waves with a fervor that was both endearing and inspirational. Mark was struck by the way Cookie's eyes gleamed with excitement at every new finding as they went along the shoreline. Because she only had two legs, Cookie occasionally stumbled and had sand wrestling matches, but her joy was greater than any discomfort, his infectious happiness and contagious delight permeate to everyone around him, warming even the coldest hearts. Beachgoers stopped to watch Cookie gallop down the water's edge, his tongue lolling out in a happy smile and his tail bouncing wildly, watching the tourists' faces light up with grins and their laughter mingling with the sound of breaking waves gave Mark a surge of pride. As Cookie ran over the sand, a tourist yelled. Look at that doggy go. With excitement, but it only has two legs, exclaimed a fellow traveler, her expression displaying anxiety. The tourists' faces softened as they observed Cookie's joyful play. Mark approached with a comforting grin and addressed their worries, saying, Don't worry, Cookie might only have two legs, but he's the happiest dog you'll ever meet. One of them cried out, He's amazing with appreciation in her voice. A calmness descended upon the beach as the sun played with the waves, Cookie kept up his joyful activities, running around the beach with his tail bobbing with pure joy, but then, out of nowhere, Cookie's tiny figure was swallowed by a tremendous wave that rushed forward, the sound of shocked gasps mixed with the thunder of the breaking waves as onlookers gasped in terror, desperate to get to Cookie before it was too late, Mark ran toward the water's edge, his pulse thumping in his chest, however. The wave vanished as swiftly as it had appeared, leaving a disorderly and confusing. Aftermath in its wake, Cookie was standing confidently on the sand, his fur drenched and his tongue hanging out in a victorious smile when the crowd realized Cookie was okay, they let out a chorus of relieved yells and applause, a bystander clapped excitedly and shouted, that dog's got more guts than I do, rushing forward. Mark gathered Cookie into his arms and showered him with love, you're a brave little guy, Cookie, he remarked. Emotion quivering in his voice, Cookie nuzzled against Mark's chest, his tail wagging wildly as if to reassure him that he was okay, I don't know what I'd do without you, the spectators kept cheering, their admiration for Cookie's tenacity visible in their tearful eyes and glowing smiles Mark at that moment, in the middle of the briny sea breeze and roaring waves that their love and resiliency had strengthened their unbreakable tie. And he was overcome with thankfulness for the little miracle that had happened just in front of their eyes as he peered out. At the wide open ocean. The attention that Cookie's beach performance was receiving from onlookers and beachgoers alike kept growing, one of the curious bystanders was a well-known veterinarian whose knowledge and kindness were well-liked in the neighborhood, inspired by Cookie's tenacity and resolve, the physician came up to Mark with a suggestion, pardon me, the physician remarked in a kind and kind tone, I couldn't help but notice your dog's remarkable spirit, I'm a pet doctor, and I specialize in assisting animals. With mobility challenges, Mark paid close attention, intrigued by what the doctor had to say, the doctor went on, I think I have a solution that could greatly improve Cookie's quality of life, I can provide a customized balance chair for Cookie, allowing him to move around more freely without relying solely on his two legs, Mark felt a wave of hope rise inside him as he considered the doctor's suggestion. He was thrilled and filled with gratitude at the prospect of bestowing onto Cookie the gift of more mobility, that sounds incredible, he blurted out, his excitement uncontrollable, thank you so much for offering to help, with a loving smile, the doctor's eyes wrinkled at the corners, I'm happy to, he answered, seeing animals like Cookie overcome adversity is what motivates me to do what I do, I'll have the chair ready for you and Cookie in no time, an air of expectancy rose as Mark and Cookie said goodbye to the beach and headed toward the doctor's office, with the help of the doctors. Knowledge and the assurance of a personalized balancing chair, Cookie's path was about to take a turn for the better, full of possibilities and newly discovered freedom. When Cookie arrived to the clinic, she found a welcoming and compassionate atmosphere. The doctor's office had a calm atmosphere, with calming music playing in the background and gentle lighting. Excitedly surveying his surroundings, Cookie wagged his tail. The friendly ambience confirming his faith in Mark, the physician came over, smiling gently. His gaze comforting and compassionate, with a kind, hello, 
cookie, he bent to stroke the dog's head, you're going to love your new chair, with appreciation, Mark observed the doctor taking exact measurements so that Cookie's balancing chair would fit her precisely, everything was thought out, down to the width and height of the seat and the placement of the support belts. The design prioritized comfort and movement in order to give Cookie an unprecedented degree of independence after the measurements were finished, Mark couldn't get the question out of his head, with a worried tone, he questioned doctor, do you think we could find out why Cookie only has two legs? The physician nodded reflectively, realizing how crucial it was to learn more about Cookie's past. He went off and examined everything, then came back with some serious news. The doctor stated gently, It looks that Cookie was involved in an automobile accident. He suffered severe injuries to his legs, resulting in the loss of both hind limbs. The news made Mark's heart sink, and a ton of questions raced through his head. His voice was clogged with grief as he murmured how could someone just leave him like that? The physician put a reassuring touch on Mark's shoulder, with a sympathetic tone, he answered, Unfortunately, accidents happen, and not all animals are as fortunate as Cookie to have someone like you to care for them. Mark's resolve to give Cookie the greatest life possible grew stronger as he took in the information, but he was deeply saddened by the knowledge of Cookie's background, Mark muttered, Poor Cookie his voice heaving with passion, to endure such pain alone, the doctor said, nodding in accord, his own visage displaying a mix of regret and respect for Cookie's tenacity, it's a testament to his strength that he's come so far, the doctor said, glowing with praise, Cookie stayed composed and patient while the doctor worked, showing that he trusted him by leaning into the soft touch of his hands, as he saw his faithful friend bravely and resolutely welcomed this new chapter. Mark couldn't help but feel a surge of pride, the waiting seemed to go on forever, but at last the balance chair was prepared, before standing back to appreciate his labor of love, the doctor carefully put Cookie onto the chair, tightening the straps and making sure he was comfortable, there you go, Cookie, said the doctor, we're all set, the process of getting used to the new balancing chair was heartwarming and motivational. At first cautious, Cookie gradually started to investigate the options. Provided by the chair with Mark's and the doctor's encouragement and patience, Mark would say, come on, Cookie, you can do it, in a loving, supportive voice as Cookie hesitantly stepped up to the chair, the doctor also spoke up, complimenting and reassuring that's it, Cookie, you're doing great, he would exclaim, beaming broadly as Cookie bravely advanced one more step every now and then Cookie would stop. Doubt flashing in his eyes as he thought about this strange machine, however, Cookie's. Will would rekindle with Mark's encouraging words and the doctor's reassuring advice, driving him ahead, the spectators would yell, look at him go, with a growing sense of wonder and adoration as Cookie moved more and more deftly around the chair, the physician was astounded by Cookie's development, believing that his experience plus Mark's steadfast assistance made for a powerful team, I'm in awe of Cookie's perseverance. The physician said, his appreciation clear in his voice, he's truly in extraordinary dog in a matter of days cookie gained self-assurance and eagerly learned to operate the chair reflecting his unwavering determination cookie embraced his mobility aid fully racing around with a contagious passion for life as she experienced a newfound sense of freedom and independence as cookie effortlessly traversed his environment mark observed with pride his heart fluttering with gratitude for his faithful friend he would say you're incredible cookie his voice brimming with passion I'm so proud of you, they had conquered this challenge together, showing that everything was possible if you had love, perseverance, and commitment, Mark was in constant amazement at his furry friend's fortitude and perseverance as they ventured out into the world together, he knew that with Cookie at his side, they would be prepared to take on any obstacles that came their way and that they could overcome them together, one step at a time. Soon, word of Cookie's new balance chair and enhanced mobility got across the neighborhood, rekindling everyone's happiness and sense of accomplishment, in order to witness Cookie's metamorphosis, Mark planned a modest party at the beach and invited the doctor, neighbors, and local animal enthusiasts, the little group was buzzing with anticipation as the sun sank below the horizon, covering the beach in a warm glow, Mark joyfully stood next to Cookie, his heart bursting with satisfaction at the advancements his animal friend had made, the physician, beamed kindly and watched Cookie speed around in his new chair, he was impressed by the tough dog, it's really amazing, he said to Mark, Cookie's determination is an inspiration to us all, a group of beachgoers stopped in their tracks as the gathering took place, 
their eyes widening with recognition, one of them nudged their friend and said, Hey, isn't that the two-legged dog from before, it was Cookie, after all. Moving with renewed confidence and donning his new balancing chair, the tourists. Marveled as Cookie made his way over the beach, his resolve evident with every stride, another traveler exclaimed, Wow, look at him go, with appreciation in their voice, what an indomitable spirit, they nodded to Mark and the doctor, who were standing close by, their expressions full of pride, as they spoke their praises, a traveler commented, it's amazing what can be achieved with love and dedication. Their adoration clear as they took in the view, with an appreciative smile, Mark acknowledged them. Travelers. Feeling their words of encouragement warm his own, he said, thank you, with sincerity in his voice, the travelers nodded in agreement, their appreciation for Cookie's trip visible in their smiles, Cookie truly is a remarkable dog, and I'm so grateful for the support we've received, Mark couldn't help but feel proud of his animal friend and the community that had come together for them as they made their way forward. He realized at that same time that Cookie's story had touched many people's hearts and provided inspiration and hope to everyone who came into contact with him, that's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story, Maxine and her nine puppies faced a harrowing ordeal when they were callously thrown out of a car, abandoned during their most vulnerable moment, confused and alone, the poor dog found herself at a loss for what to do, in a surprising turn of events, one Saturday morning, Sean was leisurely strolling along a narrow road by the creek when a Passing car splashed him with a puddle, interrupting his thoughts of his late wife and overwhelming loneliness, about to voice his frustration, the car abruptly halted, and a man emerged, tossing out a cardboard box and yelling something, an adult dog, later identified as Maxine, quickly followed, crouching protectively next to the box, stunned and trying to comprehend the fast-paced scenario, Sean watched as the car sped away, leaving him with the bewildering sight of a man abandoning a dog on the roadside, Tentatively approaching the dog in the box, Sean encountered Maxine, the golden retriever, growling in frustration, hungry, weak, and scared, unaware of the man's intentions, she associated humans with past negative experiences, particularly recalling the loving touch of Mary, who had cared for her until a few days earlier, Chris and Mary, Maxine's previous caretakers, lived together but struggled with constant arguments that filled their days with tension, Maxine sought refuge in her kennel during these loud disputes. Aware that her pregnancy made her vulnerable, when the argument subsided, she would find Mary in a corner of the house, offering comfort and receiving love in return Maxine, the dog, couldn't comprehend why the humans in her life consistently engaged in heated arguments that left her frightened and unsettled, she despised these episodes, as the yelling always sent shivers down her spine, on a particular day, the couple's fighting took an ominous turn, signaling a change she couldn't quite grasp, little did she know that it marked a pivotal moment that would alter her life after what seemed like an eternity of heated argument, Mary finally snapped and rushed out of the house, her departure casting a shadow of doubt when she hurriedly gathered her possessions, still holding out hope, Maxine pondered the return of Mary, Mary had been her primary caregiver, taking care of her with meals, love, and even playtime on occasion, Maxine gradually accepted the terrible fact, her human wasn't coming back, after three days without any trace of Mary, Chris, her once loving owner, had become an emotionally distant and tormented stranger, and now she had no one to turn to but him, Chris, when left to his own devices, gave in to the melancholy atmosphere that pervaded the home, his problems at home consumed him, and he retreated to a life of alcohol and isolation, tragically, Maxine's needs were disregarded, her food went uneaten, and she was denied vital veterinary care for both. Her and her unborn puppies, the glossy coat of the once vivacious dog began to dull, and her eyes revealed her deepest anxieties about the approaching birth of her puppies, the longer the days passed, the more Maxine longed for Mary to come back, whenever she was alone, she would lean her nose against the glass, hoping to get a sight of her beloved human, unfortunately, her wish was not granted, and her life took a tragic turn. Further crushing her spirit, Chris, who was now intoxicated and couldn't be bothered during the day, ignored her when he returned in the evening, if he was perceptive, he would have yelled at her to stop bothering him, as time went on, Maxine's condition deteriorated worse, and she was compelled to forage for leftovers as her hunger grew, no longer did her kennel provide the solace it had earlier, 
Maxine found comfort in recalling happier times as her body grew weaker in her memory. Maxine cherished the times when Chris and Mary poured their love on her, every day started with a stroll, and the weekend always ended with a trip to the park, every time they went grocery shopping, they would stock her bowl with the tastiest snacks and toys, their perfect life hit a downward spiral when Mary got a new job and began making more than Chris, but Maxine had no idea. After Mary's financial condition changed, Chris's long-suppressed anxieties and feelings of inadequateness were set off. Mary brought up her employment one night. Completely unaware that she had set off Chris's anxiety, he instigated an argument by accusing her of shirking her domestic duties, their once promising relationship took a tragic turn when, despite Mary's best efforts to explain things calmly, Chris's anger and fury grew, the gap between their beloved past and their beloved present only served to heighten Maxine's yearning for the people who had previously held her in their hearts. Their shared history is overshadowed by the glaring contrast between their past and present-day conflicts, Maxine had no idea that destiny had further trials ahead of her, the aches and pains of labor took hold of Maxine late one night, Chris was so inebriated that he didn't notice her plight as she fought alone in her kennel, Maxine longed for the solace of a loving touch as her arduous labor continued through the still hours, even though she was becoming increasingly exhausted when the night progressed. Her motherly determination kept her moving on as the first rays of morning illuminated the sky, Chris finally roused himself from his intoxicated stupor. He marched over to the kennel, prepared to chastise Maxine, his annoyance at the disturbance that had disturbed his sleep, he was unprepared for what he saw when he arrived at the kennel, what Chris was unprepared for was a scenario of Maxine lecturing him, but what he saw instead shocked him, not one, not two, but nine adorable puppies had been born to Maxine, and she was both proud and exhausted, despite her best efforts. She was too weak to feed the animals and was instead barking at Chris. For assistance, looking down at the tiny marvels in Maxine's arms, he couldn't help but be shocked, even so, he didn't let himself be warmed by the sight of new life, on the contrary, a disturbing fury simmered within him, Mary wanted him to feed and care for all those mutts in addition to the dog she had left him, Chris made a horrible decision, and it was unforgivable, Chris, his heart set in stone. Put the nine small fur bundles in a box and slung it onto the back seat of his car, Maxine, full of hope and foolishness, hopped into the car as soon as she felt a shift in the atmosphere. Chris may have realized his mistake and was bringing them to the clinic, in her opinion, tire screeching against the pavement, the man sped away like a lunatic as the automobile engine came to life, Maxine had no idea that the car had taken a terrifying detour onto a lonely. Barren road beside the stream instead of heading towards the clinic, Chris jerked the car to a halt, leaped out, and cruelly threw. The box holding the defenseless puppies out of the car when Maxine watched the cruel deed play out, she was overwhelmed with shock and horror, the dog's maternal instincts kicked in, and it ran for the box in a panic, without hesitation, Chris slammed the door shut and sped off, abandoning her on the lonely road but she wasn't really alone. A curious onlooker stood just steps away, taking it all in. Maxine was terrified that Sean would take advantage of her frail condition to abduct her. Puppies, so she yelled and hissed at him as he approached. Sean assured the nervous dog that he was not trying to hurt her by speaking softly, sensing her discomfort, the dog's weariness, along with his soothing remarks, helped to reduce the frequency and intensity of her defensive barks, with great care, he opened the box, exposing the delicate bundles of fur within, he approached with a cautious touch, seeing these defenseless creatures broke his heart, and he wondered who could have been so heartless as to leave them in such a state of misery, Sean. Wasted little time in his determination to lend a hand, he shifted the container away from the roadway and placed it in the dense vegetation adjacent to the river, he hurriedly got into his car and raced back to the creek, feeling a mixture of concern and empathy, he took the scared mother dog and her young, defenseless puppies to the closest animal hospital, hoping against hope that the babies would be okay. When I arrived at the clinic, the hard-working personnel wasted no time getting to work. They gave Maxine, who was extremely undernourished, nutritious food to help her recover as they delicately cleaned the puppies, whose fragile bodies required special attention, 
Sean was relieved when she began to milk her pups, and the clinic workers made sure the puppies got the extra nutrition they needed by supplementing their feedings with formula. Sean had an overwhelming sense of gratitude after seeing the kind treatment he received from the clinic employees, time helped Maxine recover. And the safety of their new home brought solace to her puppies, the team at the clinic was relieved by the result and set out to find forever homes for the canines, instead of putting them in the local shelter, Sean proposed a scheme to find loving homes for each of them, he promised to locate trustworthy individuals to adopt them and offered to take them home with him, Sean dictated that all prospective adopters be carefully vetted, and that the puppies be introduced to their new homes in small, safe increments when they matured, Sean was adamant about giving this family a second shot because they had been through enough hardship, Sean couldn't stand the idea of the puppies going through additional suffering at a shelter, but once they got better under his watchful eye, he understood that their story may motivate others to do good in the world, hopeful in spirit, he contacted his next door friend Linda, who was well known for her mastery of event planning and street fairs, Sean thought her friend would be ideal for. Organizing a community celebration to introduce the puppies to everyone, he approached Linda and told her the touching tale of Maxine and her nine children, Linda was moved by the story and offered to lend a hand right away, in an effort to unite the community in finding permanent homes for these neglected animals, the two neighbors set out on a joint mission, contacting the neighborhood shelter in the hopes of planning an animal fair, day after day of painstaking planning went into the event. Linda made sure everything ran smoothly by coordinating with the local shelter, who she worked with to come up with fair ideas that would be suitable for the animals and their prospective adopters, Sean was really concerned about finding loving homes for the puppies so that they could continue to receive the care and attention they needed. The two made contact with neighborhood companies in an effort to secure fair-related donations of goods and services, they went door-to-door -door in the neighborhood with leaflets advertising the event. Sean's sincere dedication and Linda's organizational skills came together to form a seamless strategy that ensured the Animal Expo was a smashing success. Sean took center stage, narrating the heartwarming tale of Maxine and her puppies, as Linda remained behind the scenes, contributions from people of the community increased as news got out. Sponsorships from local businesses helped cover crucial costs, motivated by a desire to make a Difference, fairgoers volunteered their time to help with anything from booth setup to adoption process coordination. Everyone in town was on the edge of their seats on fair day, with bright banners and information on each puppy's distinct personality, the organizers had painstakingly put up stalls to display the cute puppies, at the event, the local animal shelter brought additional animals looking for homes, so there was a wide variety of furry companions to meet, in order to make sure everything was ready, Sean, Linda, and the volunteers toiled away, Sean, Linda, and the local shelter were successful in their endeavors because they planned a fair that sought to do more than just place the animals in homes, it also sought to foster relationships between people and the animals they adopted, in an effort to find permanent homes for the animals, the fair included a small play area where they could mingle with prospective adopters, Linda and Sean recounted Maxine's story during the opening ceremony of the fair highlighting the resiliency of the puppies and the significance of finding them loving. Owners, members of the community's families came together, excited to meet the honored pets, kids were all smiles when they hurried over to the puppy booths, their faces lighting up with delight at the mischievous activities of the small ones, Linda, Sean, and volunteers engaged with prospective adopters, answering questions and ensuring a smooth adoption process, adoption forms were filled out, and families eagerly awaited the chance to take a new furry friend home, the local shelter staff. Worked diligently, ensuring each potential adopter understood the responsibilities that came with caring for a pet, the fair became a hub of joy and connection as families interacted with the animals, discovering the unique personalities of each puppy, the atmosphere was filled with laughter, joy, and the heartwarming sight of families connecting with their future pets as the day unfolded. The local community embraced the opportunity to make a difference in the lives of these vulnerable animals. Sean and Linda watched with satisfaction as each puppy found a loving home. 
Adorned with colorful ribbons signifying their future adoption in the aftermath of the fair, Linda and Sean reflected on the impact of their efforts, the local shelter expressed gratitude for the increased awareness and support, and the community reveled in the joy of welcoming new furry friends into their homes, the puppies had all found forever families, but there was still one dog to place, this time, though, there was no need for screening and waiting, Sean adopted Maxine himself and kept. Showering her with love and care, the duo formed an unbreakable bond and became the best of friends, they took long walks in the neighborhood, often extending to the nearby park to Maxine's delight, the once fearful dog now pranced around with newfound confidence, well liked by all the neighbors, Sean took her swimming in a nearby pond and laughed as Maxine paddled with enthusiasm. The playful moments continued as the duo engaged in spirited games of catch, the memories of Maxine's past life. With Chris were fading, and she was once again the happy dog she deserved to be, back at home, Sean ensured that Maxine's bowl was always filled with nutritious food, his commitment to Maxine's well-being extended beyond routine activities, including regular visits to the vet to ensure she received the care she deserved, before long, the transformation in the canine was evident. A shining coat and a sparkle in her eyes replaced the weight of neglect, everyone who saw Maxine complimented Sean. For her beauty, their bond deepened as Sean discovered the therapeutic effect of Maxine's presence in his life, in moments of solitude or when the world seemed overwhelming, his new companion became a source of comfort, reflecting on the journey they undertook together, Sean marveled at the positive impact they had on each other's lives, the once vulnerable dog, who had faced the harsh realities of abandonment, now thrived in an environment filled with love and care, Sean found a sense of fulfillment in the bond they shared. Realizing that sometimes taking a chance on a deserving soul could lead to profound moments of happiness, the heartwarming story unfolded unexpectedly, proving that after being treated so badly, Maxine could once again find a happy home.